Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English along with Tracy Wu. So you decided to get a new car, perhaps a newer car. You want to get ready when you go to the dealership, right? But what do you look out for? In today's Car Smarts, Lauren Fix, the car coach, lets us in on some tips to make sure that you get the best deal and what you want and what to look out for. Car dealers are in business to make money, and most of them are honest. Sadly, some play the game and know the tricks that can put you in a trap. Having car smarts is important, and being prepared for those potential situations where you meet those more aggressive salespeople who are looking to close the sale and maximize their profits, and it costs you money. And here's how to avoid these car dealer tricks, and knowing all the little details is not just gonna save you money, but it's going to give you car smarts. The credit trick. A dealer may tell you your credit score won't qualify for competitive financing rates. This may be true. The dealer is implying your credit is worse than it is and you'll have to pay a higher interest rates. The Car Smarts tip, find your credit score before you buy. Use Credit Karma or other apps. The payment trick. The dealer will discuss many monthly payments that seem affordable. They typically factor in large down payments or stretch out the terms on an auto loan to 60 or 72 months, and they do this with leases as well. The Car Smarts tip negotiate the price of the car rather than the monthly payment. Never give them what you can afford monthly and stick to the price. The sticker price trick the vehicle price listed on the window is what's known as the Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price, or MSRP. With the chip shortage, you need to look for the market adjustment prices or similar wording. Some dealers are overcharging buyers. The Car Smarts tip, finding the car is half of the battle, and a good dealer will not put those add-ons on. They'll sell it at sticker. Some really hot cars, though, do go above sticker. Don't be afraid to walk away. The holdback trick. Manufacturers offer loyalty or conquest discounts. These incentives are part of something called holdback, which is money that goes back to the dealer. Typically, it's not discussed unless you ask for it. The Car Smarts tip, loyalty or conquest discounts are larger for more expensive cars. Don't leave money behind for the dealer that wants your business. It doesn't hurt to ask on any vehicle. The rollover trick. It's tempting to want to trade up for a more expensive vehicle before you finish paying off the vehicle you're currently driving. Some car buyers roll over the remaining payments on their current car into a new vehicle, a loan, or even a lease. The trick is that you'll end up owing more on the second car than it's worth, and it's called being upside down on the vehicle. And if it's totaled or you're in an accident or if you decide down the road to trade it in, you'll end up covering the remaining amount of the loan. Car Smarts tip. Don't roll over on an old car loan into the new one. Pay it off first. The balloon trick. Some dealers will encourage you to purchase a car for an unrealistically low monthly payment. This sounds good on the surface, but it will leave you with a large balloon payment at the end of the loan period. And this is the price you'd be paying at the end of the lease as well. It can get very expensive. Car Smarts tip. Be very wary of balloon payments and know that your financial situation may change over time and that balloon payment comes due, you'll have to make that large payment at the end. Here's the bottom line. Buying a car is supposed to be a good experience. And if you're being tricked, walk away. Don't overpay for your vehicle. Knowledge is power. And make sure to save this video for your next purchase so you don't get tricked. And remember, what the big print gives, the small print takes away. There is so much more to discuss on this. Put your comments down below and let's start the conversation. I'm Lauren Fix, and you can find this information on my website, carcoachreports.com and dailyflashshow.com.